on the positive note, government, non-government organizations, industries, and other stakeholders have jointly worked together to promote ICT for the advancement and betterment of life of every citizen. In the Philippines, the government aimed to become an e-service hub, and the IT service sector has been proliferating. Initiative towards innovative teaching and learning and becoming an ICT-enabled education started more than a decade ago. In 1997, a National Information Technology Action Agenda for the 21st, also known as IT21, was formulated to formalize the country's vision to be globally competitive through information technology. In 2011, the Philippines Digital Strategy was formulated so strategically to make the country a digitally empowered, innovative, globally competitive, and prosperous society where everyone has established affordable and secure information access in the Philippines. Among the many specific objectives that the Philippine Digital Strategy aims is to use ICT in education and training as a means to provide equitable access to opportunities. As a result, empowered and improved lives of every Filipino can be attained. In 2014, the Open Distance Learning Act was acted to expand and further democratize access to quality tertiary education through the promotion and application of open learning as a philosophy of access to educational services and the use of distance education as an appropriate, efficient, and effective system of delivering quality higher and technical educational services in the country. In 2016, the Department of Information and Communication Technology was established through Republic Act No. 10844. The department is mandated to be the primary policy, planning, coordinating, implementing, and administrative entity of the executive branch of the Philippine government that will plan, develop, and promote the national ICT development agenda. Among its specific functions is formulate policies and initiatives in coordination with the Department of Education, the Commission on Higher Education, and the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority to develop and promote ICT in education consistent with the national goals and objectives and responsive to the human resource needs of the ICT and ICT-enabled system sectors. The K-12 curriculum of the Department of Education is aimed at producing holistically developed learners with 21st century skills. These skills include literacy in information, media, and technology. Reports show that the department aggressively promotes the use of ICT in the curriculum. Among its essential initiatives is the Department of Education Computerization Program, or popularly known as DCP. ICT is one of the specialization in Technology and Livelihood Education or TLE and Technical Vocational Livelihood or TBL track that may be taken between grades 9 to 12. In its curricular map, computer programming is emphasized. Other specific specialization includes animation, medical transcription, technical drafting, among others. In the senior high school curriculum, Media and Information Literacy is one of the core subjects. The course introduces the learners to basic understanding of media and information as channels of communication and tools for the development of individuals and societies. Likewise, it also aims to develop students to be creative and critical thinkers as well as responsible users and competent producers of media and information. Specific content in this curriculum includes the evolution, types, sources, legal and ethical, societal issues, opportunities, challenges, and power, current and future trends, among others. Further, empowerment technologies is one of the subjects in the applied track of the senior high school curriculum. The subject describes 
information and communication technology as a tool for curating, contextualizing, collaborating, and creating content and experiences for learning in the professional track. The primary learning competency is the development of a working prototype of an ICT project for social change, integrating advanced productivity tools, image and graphics design tools, multimedia, and online collaborative platforms. In higher education, a course living in the IT era is one of the electives in the new general education. The course is about the science, culture, and ethics of information technology, its influence on modern living and human relationships, and uses of personal, professional, and social advancement. In the new curricula for teacher education, a course named Technology for Teaching and Learning is mandated by the Commission on Higher Education. The course aims to introduce the basic to advanced knowledge skills and applications of ICT in the teaching and learning. In the same memorandum, it also requires that the school offering such degree program must have an ICT laboratory as well as an educational technology laboratory. Other non-ICT courses also require ICT-based courses such as nursing informatics in the case of nursing, telehealth in medicine, and among others. ICT-related degree programs include information technology, computer science, information systems, multimedia and entertainment computing, and library and information science. Being the transformational leader in the technical education and skills development of the Filipino workforce, or TESDA, is actively offering ICT-related certificate courses. Recently, eTESDA was launched. TESDA's online program featuring courses in agriculture, automotive, electrical and electronics, entrepreneurship, human health or healthcare, heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration, information and communication technology, and among others. Online ICT courses include animation, basic computer operations, mobile apps development, and technopreneurship. 